This video is brought to you by Ontario Agri-Food Education and Grain Farmers of Ontario. This video has been developed to provide you with the facts about the organic versus conventional farming debate. The goal is not to persuade you to think one way or the other, but to encourage you to look at both sides of any topic and to base your choices and beliefs on facts. There are many ways to grow food. Decisions can be based on economics, the environment, or personal beliefs. Key facts to remember are that the majority of farms in Canada are still family owned and operated and Canadian food is safe and nutritious. All farm grown produce is healthy no matter where it is grown. Organic and conventional farm practices which are most common are both viable options and all food must meet the same inspection and food safety standards. Organic farming is a series of practices that seek to balance nature on the farm. And so organic farmers are using natural, holistic approaches to farming that don't rely on fossil energy for fertilizing and protecting crops. Organic producers still use herbicides and pesticides. They just don't use herbicides and pesticides that are synthetic or chemical based. So they will use plants, plant materials, they may use beneficial insects, they may do companion planting, they may make teas, and then there are a variety of products they may use like BT uh, as a spray, as a foliar spray, that helps keep pests under control. It just means that the chemical being used is naturally derived and meets the organic standard. So there's a lot of different practices we use on our farm. One of them is crop rotation. We, uh, uh, we use a rotation of corn, then soybeans, then wheat, and uh, by using that rotation uh, uh, it uh, helps the crops grow better. Uh, we also use uh, some chemical uh, pesticides and herbicides to uh, control insect pests or, uh, or weeds that can hurt the yields of our crops. A lot of the crops we grow uh, have been genetically enhanced through biotech uh, they're resistant to certain diseases and pests and uh, uh, they've been a good crop for us to grow. We do practice minimum tillage on this farm. We also try to utilize uh, the manure from the dairy aspect of our operation is incorporated into the fields as well as well as bringing in other sources of, of organic matter uh, be it chicken manure or mushroom compost those are also incorporated into our, uh, into our field rotation. Organic farmers choose organic farming for a variety of reasons. It may be that they have access to markets in organic that are part of their marketing mix. They may choose to farm organically for environmental or for health reasons. We've chosen conventional farming because uh, I believe Canada has a very uh, extensive and thorough uh, approval system for the products that we use and I believe they're safe to use. Because we have a small flock of, of laying hens, um, the market choice was, um, we could move the eggs a lot easier uh, organically. At that time, 10 years ago, there was a real demand, and there still is a real demand for organic eggs, but it was a, a bigger demand 10 years ago. And um, so we had no problem getting rid of the eggs uh, at that time. So that, that, that was the main push back, uh, you know, 12 years ago that we went organic. What organic farming offers the world is a new paradigm for production of food that is not reliant on dwindling fossil energy resources. Whether those resources are gone in 10 or 50 or 100 years, there is agreement that those resources are harder to extract affordably. In order to produce food as cheaply as we have in the past, the system is reliant on cheap access to fossil energy. We would like to see we're developing the organic technology now, prior to those fossil energy resources running out, so that we don't have a collapse in the food system. There's two aspects. Uh, uh, one of them is probably a, a philosophy uh, on how uh, somebody approaches uh, their life. And I think uh, the other aspect is, is uh, really uh, marketing and, and trying to, uh, to uh, tap into a, a niche in the market and, and provide what the consumer wants. Many organic consumers are deeply concerned about environmental health and the impacts of agriculture on soil health, water systems, air and the farm community itself. And organic agriculture is an attempt to address some of those concerns and develop techniques that rely on less harmful inputs 
and protect those resources into the future. Organic farming is driven by consumer demand, and so the consumers have told us how they want their food produced. Organic certification and the rules that we've created that certified operators must follow in order to achieve certification is a response to those values. Organic certification means that a third party has been involved in inspecting the farm to ensure that the farm is following the practices laid out under the organic regulation. Since 2009, Canada has had a federally regulated standard. It is internationally recognized. It's equivalent with the US standard and the European Union standard. We're also recognized in other jurisdictions, including Korea. And what this provides farmers and processors is an assurity that when they sell an organic product or bring in an organic product into Canada, regardless of where it's produced, it is grown and processed to that Canada organic standard. If you're calling it organic, it has to be certified organic. And, uh, and that means for myself, um, I'm, I'm certified with ProCert and uh, an inspector actually comes uh, once a year and, and of course I have to document every day what I'm doing, uh, you know, which fields I'm working or planting or, or, or whatever, or you know, I'm doing chores, I'm collecting eggs and uh, so it's a lot of paperwork with organic, a lot more than conventional. Canada has a very extensive and thorough um, food safety approval system and whether food is raised organically or in a conventional fashion uh, it is safe for the consumer in this country. Some consumers believe that organic food is superior to conventional food nutritionally and environmentally. Organic farmers and processors are held to the same food safety standards and regulations that all producers and processors are held to. They're not exempt from food safety regulations simply because what they're doing is organic. Is organic safer? Uh, than conventional food. I know that all my neighbors that are farming right around me that are conventional uh, over the last 25 years are, are, are lose, using 50% uh, less crop protection products and crop protection products are, are uh, basically uh, your chemicals and fertilizers um, uh, to, to grow the crop. So I think as well as myself growing a, a safe product here in conventional I think my neighbors have also done a very good job in that as well. I don't know if you're aware of this, but for a thousand years, the world was at a billion people. And it just sort of stayed at a billion people. You know, you'd have potato famines or cholera or, you know, wars or whatever. And there's certain blips in it. But it wasn't until after the American Civil War of the 1860s, 1870s, when finally the world population started to rise, you know, so of course, we, we started to get medicines then, you know, penicillin came in the early, in the early 20th century. So finally we got to 2 billion, 3 billion. And of course, last fall, in, in the fall of uh, 2011, we reached here on this earth 7 billion people. And uh, my own uh, organic experience that, that uh, when I switched from conventional to organic, uh, my crops were about two thirds of the yield um, of conventional. Now, of course, as I, as I told you, the, the price was double, so that covers your, your third of, of, uh, of loss in, in yield-wise. But, uh, you know, um, we're, we're taxing this land more and more. We're not, like I say, we're now 7 billion people. Um, uh, organic is not going to feed the world. Organic is a choice uh, that you make. So, so I'm still glad that, uh, you know, my uh, conventional neighbors are here, you know, growing a better crop than me to, to feed, this, feed this world. And, uh, and, and I'm giving you a choice. And, and, uh, and that's basically the, the way I see organic.